Hello everyone, this is the Gaming Master123 here, and today I'm going to show you another tutorial on how to download a ton of st how to play and install custom zombie maps again. Because this the last time I, I I missed a few stuff, so that this this will be updated. Um. So what you want to do first, you want to have your World at War game in and ready to go. Uh, if unless you're using the Steam version, then you don't have to do this first step. The first step is you go to zombie modding, which is where I got these. You have to download the seven or six, seven or eight patches maybe. Uh, so you go to downloads, maps, and custom content. You go to Nazi zombies. Then you go to patches, windows. Then here they all are. There's 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.2 to 1.4. 1.5, 1.6, and 1.6 to 1.7. Or you could download them all at once. I would recommend downloading them all separately. If you download them all at once, they will take like a whole day. And for me, it took a whole like a whole day. Let me see, I have like instant internet or something. But um, they took they took a lot. They would I tried to do that for my friend because I was downloading them for my friend, and uh, I tried to do them all at once and it didn't work. It took like two hours and it was not even a quarter of the way done. So I would just download them all separately. Then when you get them, should be down the bottom if you're using Google Chrome. And you should click on them and then you uh it'll open it up and it'll install them. So each one separately. And after you're done with that, then you want to find a map that you want. So you go to zombie modding again or whatever else you're using like uh custom card which is broken or uh, other ones that you might find. Or UGX. UGX is another good one. Um you go to downloads Nazi zombies, then to maps. Then you could pick it from a ton of different maps prototype, which means there's no plug machines, no upgraded weapons, no dogs, and it's all it's easy to medium difficulty. So there, it's it's not very fun prototype, but you could still there's still some really good maps out there that are prototype. So the original ones were made off of. Then you got Vrucht style maps, which are plug machines, zappers, beddies, which are bouncing beddies, and moving mystery boxes. So they move and stuff. So that's cool. Then you got Shinonuma, which is random pug machines, Japanese zombies, dogs, uh, the Wonder Waff, and the Flogger, which is the thing that you could that spins around and kills the zombies. And then there's Deris style, which are upgradable weapons, teleporters, and Bowie knife. So those are fun. Then there are modern maps, so that have like ton of mods, like uh, your Backlot. Backlot is, I think it's a remake of one of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Maps? I have no idea. But whatever. So that's Backlot, and then there's a ton of other ones that are like that. So what what I'm going to do, I'm going to download a... Then there's Beta and Unfinished. So Beta is the ones that might be upcoming. Although Beta... No, m people don't normally put Betas in here. The most recent Beta was April 21st. So that, that was a while ago. And then Unfinished and Broken ones. The most latest one was June 2nd, 2014. That was uploaded. So... You, I'm gonna go to Dewey's. I'm gonna download a small map, and I'm gonna download Nuke Town by Richard. So that looks fun. Download now. This should pop up. Uh, it, it, well, this shouldn't pop up. Normally, with Google Chrome, it'll download automatically in your downloads folder. But for some reason, on my computer, I have to put it right to my desktop. Because uh, if I go to my downloads folder and try to do it from there, for some reason my computer starts to lag and it crashes. It's really weird and annoying. So yeah, what you do if this comes up, you could you could also what you do to have that come up, uh, you could right click it and hit save link as. Then this will come up. So you hit desktop and uh, see that there, and then you hit save. You'll see it download down the bottom. Okay, it has 30 seconds. Right, well, I'm gonna. I guess I'll look at the map. So it's cool. So yeah, this looks fun, actually. And I I will play this map on my channel also. So I'm gonna pause it and let it download. All right. All right. So after it's downloading, uh, you'll see this down here. You want to click on it. Come on. Did I click on it? Yeah, I should have clicked on it. Let's click it again just to make sure. <laughs> Alright, so then you hit yes. Oops. Go away. Alright, so this should come up. See? And then uh, install. And then it should install just automatically. So I have to wait. Uh, I, I don't know if I should pause it or if it's just going to take fast. 
Alright, I'll pause it. Hold on. Alright. It is now finished. And what you want to do, you'll see this. Uh, it should be on screen. I don't know if it is or not, but it should be. Um, so, see this. I uh, turn that off. You don't want the, to have shortcuts. Because you have shortcuts everywhere if you keep downloading maps. And you leave that on. So, finish. And then it should be downloaded. So, let me pause the video and go into World at War. And show you how to start it up. Alright. So, after that is done. You want to go in here. See the, the startup menu. You want to go in here. The mods. Find your mod. Whatever you downloaded. What I, I downloaded uh, Nuketown. So, there it is. Nazi Zombie. Nuketown. So, you want to double click on it. Or you can hit launch. Um, whatever you want to do there. Um, I think my game has crashed. Oh, great. Um, nope, here we go. So, uh, alright, so it has the solo and co-op, uh, buttons. So what you could do, instead of doing this, for some maps that you may download, this one has an actual button for solo. If you want to play solo, you hit the little button next to the one, on the left, under the escape button. Hit the little squiggly line. Oh, wait, first, sorry, you have to first go into options and controls, game options, and enable console. Then hit that. So type slash, dev map, or if you're downloading, I think it's like a ZCT, I think it's either a ZCT or a UGX map, you want to type in just map. Or you could just do that for anyone. So map, Nazi, underscore, zombie, underscore, then whatever the name of your map is. So mine's Nuketown. Then you hit enter, and it should load your map. If it doesn't, depending on what map you have, depending on what the map is, you may have some issues with it, depending on where you downloaded it. It might have been a broken download or a broken file, missing files in it, somewhere that may have caused it to crash the game or something. So here we go. So yeah, thanks for watching, and that's all I'm going to do for now. I will come back to this map on my channel. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.